Hello and welcome to the Friday, June 23rd, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Stockheim, Germany. Well, I told you this week I'll be, and actually next week too, I'll be a little bit off with respect to the recordings here because of the time zone difference. So yesterday, just as I finished recording, I did learn that, well, Apple released updates for all of its operating systems, fixing three vulnerabilities that are already actively being exploited. Kaspersky reported these vulnerabilities uh, to Apple, which indicates that these uh, vulnerabilities are likely related to a compromise of devices at Kaspersky, which they reported about a week or so ago. I think they called it Operation Triangle. Two of the vulnerabilities are affecting WebKit. WebKit, of course, is the engine behind Apple's browsers. So Safari and pretty much anything else that parses HTML and such in Safari, visiting a malicious website can execute arbitrary code. This will typically only give you code execution privileges within the web browser's sandbox. And this is where the third vulnerability comes in. That third vulnerability does actually then allow privilege escalation and does allow executing arbitrary code with kernel privileges. So these vulnerabilities have to be chained together to lead to a complete system compromise the way Kaspersky described the malware that they observed. Now in the reporting by Kaspersky, I've seen they only noted older operating systems uh, being affected, but uh, these vulnerabilities are being patched in all current operating systems up to iOS 16.5. Now we have 16.5.1 as well as macOS Ventura or 13.4, which now is up to 13.4.1. And then we have an exploit for CVE 2023-2178. This is an arbitrary file delete vulnerability in the Cisco Secure Client and Cisco AnyConnect. The problem is that uh, the installer will create a temporary directory and then delete all the files inside the directory without sort of properly checking the directory before doing the delete. One of those typical bad temporary directory creation of vulnerabilities. And there is plenty of literature about how to then escalate privileges by deleting certain files, which is essentially what this exploit does. And VMware released a fix for an important vulnerability in vCenter, CVSS v3 score of 8.1. The problem here is actually an arbitrary remote code execution flaw that can be exploited over the network. Uh, it's a problem with the implementation of DCE RPC. So it's not HTTP, HTTPS. You're less likely to have this port exposed to the open, definitely something that you do want to address quickly. vCenter has been a big ongoing target, so uh, certainly something that you need to get patched relatively quickly. And Aquasec published a blog post with details what they're calling repo jacking in GitHub. And they state that millions of repositories are vulnerable to this attack. The problem is if you ever changed your username on GitHub or if your organization may have merged with a different organization and as a result, your GitHub account was renamed. The problem then is that GitHub to make things easy on the developers automatically links your new repository to the old repository. So developers basically can continue to use the old name until, and that's where the repo jacking comes in, someone comes along and now re-registers the old name. Then a new repository is created for this new account. And if you still used the old GitHub URL, well, now you are downloading this new code, not the code that you expected to receive from this particular repository. It's kind of a little bit an old ongoing issue with GitHub that once the account is deleted, someone else can 
re-sign up and reuse uh, this account. This has also been used sort of in uh, different uh, circumstances. But overall, of course, you have to keep your URLs up to date, which uh, can be difficult in a large enterprise and probably best not to give up your old GitHub account. Well, and this is it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.